Good morning and welcome to this edition of Night Vision News. I'm Lincoln. And I'm Maui. Today's the last day before Thanksgiving break, so we have some exciting news to share with you in this broadcast. But first, let's talk about the school's new absence in policy so you can be fully aware of what's going on. The school's new absence policy, which started this semester, is pretty significant, and we want to make sure that you're aware of the ramifications. If you have 11 or more unexcused absences in a class, you will be in danger of losing credit for that class. Absences are counted on a class-to-class -class basis, so having 11 unexcused absences total would not necessarily affect losing credit. It only results in a loss of credit if you have 11 unexcused absences in a single class. We were able to catch up with Principal Ferris for a full description of the new attendance policy. Let's check it out. At 11 absences, you have the possibility of losing credit. So at that point, you're going to have to appeal in order to receive credit. So if you have 11 or more unexcused absences, you have the possibility of losing credit. Okay. And what does the appeal process look like? At this point, the appeal process, you will be given a paper with a letter that I will be, Ms. Ferris will be handing out to those students that might possibly lose credit. You will have to sign saying that you got that letter, and then you will have to follow that process on the letter and return it to the office. And then an appeal committee is going to meet. They will look at what you have said, what the teacher has said, what the principal has said, and then make a decision on whether or not you will get credit for, those, uh, for that class. Okay, if you're at 11 absences or more, then what you can do is attend after school tutoring. We have that on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can ask your teacher what extra assignments you can do. You could also um, find a way to meet with your teacher outside of class time if they have it available. Anything that you do like that strengthens your case for the appeal to be approved. So some things to remember about absences. You can have five parent excused for any reason. On the sixth absence after that, you have to have a doctor's dental court note so that they can still be excused. So what you can do, if you have doctor's notes, bring them, give them to the front office, and those can become excused absences. If you notice that you went on a school activity that was not excused and it doesn't say SA, you can go to the office and let them know that you were on that trip and we will work to get those changes made. And so parents, if you have not called in for any absences, have your parents call in, write a note, bring a note, so that you can get up to five of those excused and then that will remove unexcused absences which could bring you back under 11. We would like to encourage all of our students to look at your attendance and make sure that you're not in danger of failing. You can find your absences listed in Infinite Campus. If you can have your parent call in and at least get five absences excused, that would help a lot of students avoid the danger of losing credit. Losing credit is a serious thing. If you end up losing credit, you'll be forced to retake that class or take a summer class in order to make up that lost credit. You don't want to do that. Let's be real. Talk to your teachers about things you can do to avoid losing credit. And on other news, our basketball team is getting ready to start their season. Their first home game is December 1st against PC West. The girls will play at 6 and the boys will play at 7.30. The basketball games are always fun. Come out and support our nights this season. Here at Northwest, we offer a large variety of different courses that some other schools don't have. And one of those courses is yoga. We got to catch up with Coach Jack, the instructor of the yoga course here at Northwest Classroom, And here's some things he had to say about it. Let's check it out. Uh, my name is Coach Jack and I am a uh, yoga teacher here, meditation teacher, as well as senior seminar and I do some PE classes as well. So yoga at its uh, simplest form is a discipline that creates balance between the mind and the body at its simplest form. So I, I you know, just to be truthful and honest, I, I've suffered from overthinking um, for, for several years and I know that, that um, you know, I started practicing yoga and, and meditation. Um, it was a way for me to ground myself, to live in the present moment. Uh, I think we as, as human beings uh, suffer from living in the past and, and living in the future. Uh, and I think a lot has to do with, with these right here. And so I think that it has helped center me, ground me, create balance in my life. 
Uh, I am living in the present moment and, and noticing all the, the beautiful things and, and all the people that are uh, around in my life and, and enjoying those uh, moments and not suffering from overthinking as much and being able to control the mind and the body. And so um, with that thought process, uh, I think that that was the, the reason why uh, I wanted to create this class um, for this school district. So it, it does create discipline. Um, it is uh, difficult. Uh, and so the idea was for the students was to expose them to as uh, many different meditation forms and practices and many different yoga uh, forms and practices and disciplines uh, in hopes that they would create their own um, and utilize it and use it um, after they leave Northwest Classic. And I think for athletes, you're dealing with thought, um, lots of schemes and terminologies, and there's a, there's a lot of things that going on in, in sports in general and thinking uh, and meditation and yoga, again, grounds you, centers you, helps you be in the present moment so that you don't suffer from overthinking and overanalyzing as an athlete. Uh, and so that is the, the mind um, practices and disciplines that, that we like to, to use with the, the athletes as well. How can I be a better teammate? You know, what can I do uh, on the field? Visualization practices of, of what, you know, it looks like in competition when you're laying in bed at night, mentally preparing yourself um, to compete at your highest level and form. Uh, and what I like to say about yoga uh, and, and meditation is, uh, it's a lot like the terminology uh, exercise. It's an umbrella term where you have uh, many different forms of, of, of yoga and many different forms of, of meditation. Right now we've been kind of focusing on relaxation meditation uh, and relaxation uh, yoga flows uh, in our class because it, it is hard to be a student. Uh, I, I, I do remember, uh, I'm not so old that I don't remember what it was like being a student in college and, and um, high school and honestly I wish I would have um, engaged myself in some of this stuff or it, some of this stuff was offered to me when I was a student. I didn't know about this stuff until after high school and college so I probably would have uh, been way further along in, in my mental strength and practice, practices and disciplines. If you want to get my class uh, and you're interested in yoga, have a conversation uh, with the counselor, with the counseling staff, or maybe an administrator, uh, and you can apply to get into it. We would love to have more classes of it. Uh, I know right now it's only offered for third and fourth period, but we are looking to expand uh, because it is based on student interest. And so I would love to have you. I would love to work with you. Uh, and so that's the process. So looking forward to working with you guys. Have you ever practiced yoga, Maui? I actually haven't, but I heard it really helps you focus, so I probably would look into it. Yeah, you know, me too. If you're interested in taking yoga class either this semester or next semester, talk to Coach Jack at the small gym or speak to your counselor. Thanksgiving break is tomorrow. I know we're all super excited to have the entire week off. However, we have learned a few interesting things about some of our teachers in this building. Yeah, I mean, even with Thanksgiving being next week, some teachers have decided to already decorate for Christmas. We found it really, really interesting. Do we really have premature Christmas celebrators in our own building? The KVN news team decided to take on the case. <laughs> I see that you decorated for Christmas. Yes. <laughs> do you know that? Do you know that Thanksgiving is next week? I don't eat turkey. I'm a veggie person. <laughs> do, do you not like turkey? I like Christmas. <laughs> Are you even thankful? Yes, I'm thankful to have you as my student. What's wrong with pumpkin pie? A pumpkin is good. <laughs> I see that you decorated for Christmas. I did. Uh, do you know that Thanksgiving is next week? Do you have an issue with Thanksgiving? I do. Uh, do you not like turkey? I'll eat it. 
Are you even thankful? I'm very grateful for Christmas. Well then, what's your issue with Thanksgiving? Mmm, not enough. Do you not like pumpkin pie? I do like pumpkin pie. I see that you've decorated for Christmas already? Yes, correct. Are you aware that Thanksgiving is next week? I am, in a week, seven days. Do you even like turkey? I do like turkey. Are you thankful for any? A lot of things. What's wrong with pumpkin pie? The machine. <laughs> Very interesting, Lincoln. When do you think you should start setting up for Christmas? Surely it's not before Thanksgiving. I decorate after Thanksgiving, okay? I'm not a monster or a heathen like some of the people in the building. I would never. Well, on a lighter note, we want to discuss an important question. Would you rather lick a school toilet bowl once or never shower again? What? <laughs> we took it to the halls. See what you guys had to say. Who are you with? Chase Cates, Hayden. Would you guys rather lick the toilet, the school toilet bowl once, or never shower again? I don't know about toilet bowl because I'd rather shower. I guess the toilet bowl too. That's nasty. Well, thank you. <laughs> Who am I here with? Whisper, Kimberly. Alice. Okay, would you guys rather lick the school toilet bowl once or never shower again? Lick the school toilet lick the bowl. School toilet bowl. Lick the school toilet bowl. Yeah, me too. I feel like you just take a like take a shower and brush your teeth. I mean, yeah, but I don't know. It's like a one-time thing. You know? True, true. It is one time, but it's like the whole like you know the, the whole toilet. Yeah, like just the whole bowl like, all around. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not never showering again though. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I, yeah, lick it, lick it, lick it. Yeah. Thank you. Who am I here with? Zach. Would you rather lick a school toilet bowl one time or never shower again? You know what? I'm licking that toilet bowl. <laughs> okay, thank you. Tay. Would you rather lick the school toilet bowl once or never shower again? I ain't gonna lie. I can't, I can't be dirty, so I'm gonna have to lick that toilet. You <laughs> Same thing. Because yeah. I'm able to brush my teeth afterwards. But if I'm never taking a shower again, what if you have to like lick the whole like around? You do it either way. Yeah, cause I play sports, so I can't be no mustard. Do you feel me? Cause. That's all for this broadcast. We hope you have a great Thanksgiving break that's spent with friends and family. Stay safe and stay classy, Northwest. Woo! Have a great break.